Minister investigated over accusations she misled Parliament. South Auckland wakes up to smoke-filled skies as fire crews fight blaze. And Wayne Brown condemns Labour MPs in waiting on the eve of his final budget proposal. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Education Minister Jan Tanedi's actions are being put under the microscope. She's been referred to Parliament's Privileges Committee over a serious breach of rules in the House. Tanedi is accused of misleading the House over failing to correct a statement around attendance stats. Tanedi would be the first MP in 15 years to be found in contempt of Parliament. In 2008, Winston Peters was referred to the Privileges Committee over whether he should have declared a $100,000 donation from a businessman. More than a dozen fire crews have been fighting a blaze in South Auckland this morning. The fire is in a pile of scrap car parts. Plumes of black smoke have filled the air over the streets, while a resident said part of the road had been closed and detours were in place. A fire and emergency spokesperson said no buildings had been affected and there are no reports of injuries. Auckland Mayor Wayne Brown has lashed out at councillors opposed to selling the council's Auckland Airport shares. He's threatening reinstating deep cuts to arts and social services if they don't get behind the move when his first budget goes to vote next week. Brown believes he only has nine votes in favour and 12 against, with a few councillors on the fence. I have councillors who are sort of Labour MPs in waiting who know it's the right thing to do, but are telling me that they've been contacted by the unions and others, and so they don't want to do it. Well, if council is not a waiting room for M would be in peace, you're here to do what I'm here to do, which is to stop wasting ratepayers' money. It's been revealed Wellington City Council only conducted inspections at Loafers Lodge twice in the past decade, despite advice it would be more appropriate for such checks to happen every year. Five people died in the hostile blaze that broke out two weeks ago today. The most recent check in 2018 found several problems, including items being installed in an escape route that could combust in an emergency or block the fire exit. Fire and smoke doors designed to prevent fire from spreading were also wedged open. And New Zealand's free trade agreement with the United Kingdom comes into force from today as the government lords what it's calling a gold standard pact. Prime Minister Chris Hipkins says the deal will increase our annual GDP by up to $1 billion. Big winners include the wine industry, New Zealand's biggest export to the UK, which will see at least $25 million in tariffs vanish overnight. On top of that, our dairy and red meat sectors will transition to duty and quota-free access for the first time in 50 years. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.